Hey guys, I'm Jen Cooper from the Canon Collective and today I'm here to show you the Canon PowerShot SX740. It is the perfect pocket-sized camera for your next holiday. In this video, I'm gonna take a quick look at some of the key features so you can get to know your new camera. So, let's get started. So on the top of the camera, we're gonna start with the power switch, which is just here, to turn the camera on. Next to the power switch, you'll notice that you have the zoom lever. So with this zoom lever, you have 40 times optical zoom with three stops image stabilization, which is fantastic for those long distance travel shots. To take the photo on the top of the camera, you have the shutter button. You need to half press the button to focus, fully press it down to take the picture. Next to the shutter button, you'll find the main mode dial. With the mode dial here, you can start in automatic. Moving up from that, you can move into the semi-manual modes. So you'll notice, just like some of the Canon SLR cameras, we have P for program, TV for shutter speed, AV to control your aperture, and M for full manual control. Below the automatic dial, you have some great quick and easy modes to help you get the most out of your shooting scene. So here we have a mode for food, we have a mode for sports or fast action. When you move the mode dial around to scene, you can select a shooting mode to best suit your subject. Some of the ones that we have here could be portrait, smooth skin tone, handheld night scene, grainy black and white, and soft focus. And there's so many more for you to discover on your camera. Below the scene mode on the main dial here, we have the video. Now this tiny little camera does shoot 4K video mode, which is fantastic. To do that, just make sure that you move the mode dial around to the video icon here and start and stop the video with this little red button on top. On the side of the camera, you'll notice that you have two connection ports under this little cover here. The first one is for USB and the second one is for HDMI and your little wrist strap is connected through this section here. On the other side of the camera, we have the little switch to pop up the flash. If the camera is in automatic mode and it requires the flash, the flash will come up automatically. If you'd like to manually pop it up, just move this switch here. Moving on to the back of the camera, you'll notice this great 180 degree flip screen. So I can flip the screen all the way up to turn the camera around to take a selfie on holidays. Next to the LCD screen, you'll notice the zoom assist button. This is great for helping you to compose your photos and frame them up just perfectly before you zoom in. Next to that, we have the Wi-Fi button. In a later video, I'll show you exactly how you can connect your camera to your smart device. On the back of the camera, you have this versatile control wheel here. On the outside, you have a dial that you can scroll to the right or left to change the settings depending on what mode you're in. On the right hand side, you'll notice the flash. So this will control our flash on, slow sync or flash off. This little symbol here is your exposure compensation. This is a really quick and easy way to help to brighten or darken your photo depending on what your scene requires. On the left hand side of this mode dial, you'll notice a little flower with MF. The flower symbol is for macro, which will allow you to focus on things close up to the camera. The MF stands for manual focus, where you can adjust the focus ring manually. On the bottom of this dial here, you'll see info. By pressing the info, you can change how much information is viewed on the screen. There are three different options to allow you to have more information, less, or a completely blank screen. Below the main mode dial, you'll have the playback button here. When you press the playback button on the back of the camera, you can use the wheel on the, on the back mode dial to scroll through the photos that you've previously taken on the memory card. Next to the playback button, you have the menu. Let's talk through some of the menu features now. Within the menu, the red is for the shooting settings. The blue is the playback menu. The yellow is for function settings and the green is to customise the information on your display. On the bottom of the camera, you have the battery and card compartment. The memory card is located here. And to release the battery, simply move this orange switch to the side.
One of the things that I love to do when I'm on holidays is to take little time-lapse movies. And in this camera, it makes it so simple for you to do. Let me show you how. When the camera is in movie mode on the top mode dial, simply press the menu button on the back of the camera and navigate down to time-lapse movie. From here, you'll notice that there are three preloaded scenes that you can choose depending on what your subject is. Second of all, you need to set your interval and the amount of shots you'll be taken. So here I've selected five seconds for the interval and a total of 240 photos. Now what you'll notice is down the bottom, it tells me here that this will take 19 minutes and 55 seconds to shoot and this will result in a nine second video clip. Some of the great features within your control of the time-lapse movie mode, you have auto exposure. This can be fixed on the first frame or adjusted on each individual frame. You also have options to change the movie record size. So if you want to record this in full 4K, you can. Otherwise you can set to record it in full HD. Great, now once that's set, you can simply set your camera up and press the start button on the top of the camera the camera will do the rest of the work for you. Quite often when I travel, I have my camera set up into TV mode. TV mode is great to control your shutter speed and I like to have mine set on around one two hundredth of a second. This is fast enough to freeze any camera shake or potential subject movement, so I know when I pull my camera out, I'm ready to fire and get that great shot. Another mode that I quite often use is continuous shooting. Continuous shooting allows you to hold your finger down on the button and it will continue to take photos for as long as that button is to press. To activate it in camera, simply press the Q button on the back of the camera and navigate down to this mode here, which is your drive mode. On the bottom, you'll notice a single square for one single shot, high speed continuous for fast continuous shooting, and this is also the option that you can set your self timer as well. So if you want to set the camera up and jump in the frame yourself, you can set it to a two second or a 10 second self timer. For this, I'm going to set high speed continuous. So I'm ready to capture those fast moving subjects. Wow, that's fast. It's actually 10 frames per second for that continuous shooting mode. And if you're using one of the AF tracking modes where perhaps your subject is coming towards you, that frame rate is 7.4 frames per second. I hope this video has helped you get to know your SX740HS a little bit better. So make sure you pack it on your next trip and capture those unforgettable memories.